So this club car onward was built for the golf course. It's got the Versatach golf bag attachments and more. And it has a 10 inch touch screen that you just saw that even allows you to watch golf while you're golfing, which is kind of ridiculous. But let's check it out. Now, before I get to the rims, I don't know why I said that's ridiculous because I would definitely watch golf while I'm golfing. This is a 2023 lithium ion club car onward. This is the factory glacier white mods, Maverick rims. They're in the matte black. And then we did the 23 inch X comp tires, which is made by mods. This is, these are a radial steel belted tire. And I'm not joking. They ride better than any tire I've ever felt in a golf cart in my life. I took this on the grass out here in our fairgrounds to drive around like a normal golf course would feel like. And it made a huge difference. I didn't think a tire itself could make that big of a difference, but it does. Next, we got the Jake's Nerf bar steps as well. Before we go in the interior, I'll take you back here. So this is Club Car's VersaTach system. And what that is, it quickly allows you to remove and add and remove the golfing equipment in case you don't want them to be on there. So I threw my golf clubs on there real fast. I just threw the top mount on, but you, know, you can hook this in and take your golf clubs out real fast and you know if you got people that are going to be riding the back seat one cool thing about versatach is you just undo this move all the golf bag attachments really fast so you got the cooler then you also have the ball and club washer as well so yeah really cool features great for golfing next we'll go to the interior so here in the interior we got the carbon fiber dash cover we also have the Homelink garage door opener. We have the USB for the Stinger height and screen. We also got a switch for the LED lights. And then let's get into some of the cool stuff. So this is our four channel gold sound system. That's a 600 watt Kenwood amp and the dash powering these speakers. Then we have the Stinger Heighten. This is a 10 inch touchscreen. And this does, as you can see right now, we're watching golf as we're, as we're doing this video. We're, what that is is a wireless HDMI uh, piece that we can uh, just wirelessly stream our phone to the screen from. And you can use that for like GPS or just anything. If you have like a uh, golf GPS app showing you your yardages and range and stuff like that, you can just stream it to the screen. And it's kind of like Club Cars Connect, except with this, you've got, you know, it doesn't have, Connect is great, don't get me wrong. Those Club Car Connects are awesome technology, but there's a few things you can do extra on this, not to mention actually have a really good sound system as well, as this is the, also the head unit. So when I hit home, we got Bluetooth music. We have, you know, uh, it's XM radio capable. Then it also has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So that's what the USB port down here in the dash is. So you can plug it in and you can have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay in your golf cart, just like you would your car. When you put it in reverse, you also got a backup camera. So, so like I said, it's a Kenwood 600 watt amp and these are Hertz HEX speakers. And as you can see, we use white ones that match the cart. So these are eight, not HEXs, HMXs. So this is Hertz's top of the line speaker they make. They just changed their grills finally to, so they look a lot better. And uh, these speakers rip. With a 600 watt amp, there's, I mean, you can't even really crank this as loud as it can really play because it'll blow the average person's eardrums. I'm half deaf from playing music so dang loud, so it doesn't bother me. So you have the two speakers up there, and this is the club car overhead console that we retrofit and do all that stuff to it. And then we have also have our waterproof speaker enclosure, and that has the Hertz HMX 8-inch speakers back there. Now that's a sealed box, so it's not open from the back end, so it's not an open bare environment, so the speakers actually sound good versus just drilling a dang hole in the body and throwing speakers in there. So that is a uh, fully uh, enclosed box. And with being eight inch speakers and having a 600 watt amp, the mid bass is actually pretty dang strong. So you don't get that real subwoofer bass like you would in like a, you know, like a techno song or rap song, but as far as like the mid bass punch, that when you're in this cart, you really feel it. And it makes a huge difference jumping up to the eight inch speakers back there. And then one little tweak we made on this cart actually too was you can kind of, you can sometimes hit your roof with your golf clubs when your clubs are sitting on the footrest for a system like the VersaTach. So Brock wanted us to move the roof a little forward. So we actually moved this roof, roof forward uh, three or four inches. And, it, and you know, it looks, it might not, I mean, someone might not even notice this. I notice it because I've built hundreds of onwards over the years, but this hangs off a little further than the front, which is not a big deal. But that way you're not smoking their, your roof now. You know, we sat these right here. That way, 
It's not quite as easy now, as you can tell, that three or four inches actually made a big difference when I mount it here. It's not, you know, now I really gotta make an effort to hit the roof with it now, so made a big difference. Let's talk about the LEDs real fast. So Brock does live on the golf course. So if he's there late at night and wants to drive home and wants to show off a little, well, he's got LED lights to do so. So this is XK Glow's dual zone controller. And why it's a dual zone controller is because it powers the underglow light, then it also powers the speaker LEDs. And one cool thing about it is, you know, I can, with the XK Glow app, I can quickly change everything. And as you can see, I'm streaming to the, the Heighten right now. I'm not sure how bad that's gonna look on camera, but you can also do all kinds of crazy things like that. Dual zone, so I can also separate the speakers from the underglows as well. So I just separated the speakers. So now, I now I, let's say you wanna do red underglows and green speakers, you can separate those two because it's dual zone controller. So yeah, so not only is it built for the course to you know suit him, but it's also really cool and I'm pumped for him to see it. So thanks for watching.